Vertiport Air Taxi is a transportation system that uses vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, aircraft to transport passengers within a city or between cities. Tolls are like helicopters in that they can take off and land vertically, but they can also fly forward like airplanes. This makes them well suited for urban areas, where there is limited space for runways, vertiports are the infrastructure that supports vertiport air taxis. They are essentially small airports that are designed for tolls. Vertiports typically have landing pads, takeoff pads, passenger terminals, and battery charging facilities, the use of vertiport air taxis has a number of potential benefits. First, they can help to reduce traffic congestion in cities. Second, they can provide a faster and more efficient way to travel than traditional forms of transportation. Natila's cargo drone is a type of autonomous cargo aircraft, also referred to as an unmanned aerial vehicle UAV. Unlike traditional cargo planes, the Natila's cargo drone has a blended wing body design, which combines the wing and fuselage into a single lifting surface. This design is said to be more aerodynamically efficient, reducing drag which translates into decreased fuel consumption and lower operating costs the company behind the Natilis cargo drone is Natilis. They are currently developing different sizes of cargo drones with varying payload capacities. Their smallest drone, the Kona, has a wingspan of 85 feet and is expected to be the largest commercial air cargo drone to fly in 2024 Kona can carry up to 3.8 tons of cargo. Bell's rotors manufacture rotor components themselves, but they do design and manufacture helicopters that use rotors. Bell helicopters are known for their high performance and maneuverability, articulated rotor system. Bell helicopters use a two-bladed, articulated rotor system. This system allows the blades to flap and pitch independently, which helps to reduce vibration and improve stability. Composite rotor blades. Bell helicopters use composite rotor blades that are strong, lightweight, and durable. Composite blades are more resistant to fatigue than metal blades, and they can also help to reduce noise. Advanced Design Features Bell rotor blades incorporate a number of advanced design features, such as swept tips and anhedral droop. Starling Jet was a concept design for a hybrid electric VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, passenger aircraft by Arc Aerosystems. It was envisioned to be a 10-seater aircraft for short-haul and regional business and luxury travel, passenger capacity, 10 passengers. Propulsion, hybrid electric, details on the electric and fuel components were not available. Cruise speed, estimated at 740 km per hour, 460 miles per hour. Range, proposed range of 1,450 to 2,414 kilometers, 900 to 1,500 miles. Maximum altitude, 9,100 meters, 29,855 feet. Takeoff and landing, vertical. The Starling jet was designed to be a piloted aircraft initially. Nysus Aero is a company focused on gyroplanes, a type of rotary wing aircraft known for being easier to fly and more affordable than helicopters their aircraft, they manufacture a gyroplane called the Nysus, which is designed for both recreational and professional use. Focus on safety and ease of use, their website highlights the gyroplane safety features, mentioning it being stall resistant they also emphasize the ease of learning to fly the Nysus. Performance and comfort, the Nysus boasts a compact design for easy storage and all-weather capability it also features a closed and comfortable side-by-side -side cockpit with panoramic views. Potential applications, 
Nisus Aero sees their gyroplane being used for personal transportation, professional tasks like monitoring and surveillance. Solar Airship One is a massive, whale-shaped airship designed to fly around the world non-stop using only solar and hydrogen power, One. It is being developed by French company Euro Airship, with an ambitious goal of a first circumnavigation flight in 2026 size. The airship is a behemoth, stretching 151 meters, 495 feet, in length, almost as long as a football field. Propulsion, the primary power source is solar energy. The airship's upper surface is covered in nearly 5,000 square meters, 51,700 square feet, of solar panels, which will generate electricity to run the onboard electric propulsion motors. Hydrogen fuel cells, to handle nighttime hours and low-light conditions, the Solar Airship One will also use hydrogen fuel cells. Aska A5 is a flying car designed, developed, and manufactured by the ASKA A5 is a four-seater EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing, vehicle, meaning it can function as both a car and an aircraft. In car mode, it's roughly the size of a large SUV and can be driven on roads and parked in regular parking spaces. To fly, the ASKA A5 transitions to vertical takeoff mode using its electric motors and propellers the ASKA A5 boasts a maximum flight range of 250 miles 400 kilometers on a single charge. It can fly at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour, 240 kilometers per hour, in the air ASKA prioritizes safety in their design. The ASKA A5 features multiple. FlyNow eCopter teaser for a new individual flying machine called the eCopter, designed by FlyNow. The opens with a historical overview of humanity's fascination with flight. The narrator says that FlyNow aims to rekindle this fascination by making individual flight affordable. The eCopter's design is inspired by dragonflies, known for their efficient, effortless, and silent flight. The highlights the simplicity of the eCopter's design claiming that this simplicity translates to lower manufacturing and operation costs, paving the way for sustainable transportation the fly now. Samad Aerospace Founding and Rebranding Founded in 2017, Samad Aerospace focused on developing electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft, one. In recognition of achieving several design patents, the company rebranded as Arc Aerosystems focus on EVTOL aircraft. Arc Aerosystems continues to develop a range of EVTOL aircraft for civil aviation use these are designed to be electric-powered business aircraft for short-haul and regional transportation. Project one of their ongoing projects is the E-Starling, a hybrid electric EVTOL aircraft designed for a quieter and more environmentally friendly transportation option it would use electric propulsion for takeoff, landing. Auto Solera 800 is a futuristic aircraft design by Auto Aviation that promises to be both incredibly efficient and environmentally friendly. The Solera 800 leverages a concept called transonic superlaminar flow. This essentially allows for a smooth, uninterrupted airflow over the aircraft's fuselage and wings, reducing drag by a staggering 80% compared to conventional aircraft imagine a hot knife slicing through butter, that's the efficiency goal. The Solera 800 is constructed with lightweight and incredibly strong carbon fiber composites this not only keeps the aircraft nimble but also contributes to its overall fuel efficiency. The Solera 800 is designed to burn SAF, a biofuel derived from renewable. 
sources that can reduce carbon emissions by up to 80% compared to traditional jet fuel.